As for today's game, Patrick Clivert was missing with a knee injury and former Newcastle winger Norberto Solano was on the bench for Aston Villa. Commentaries by Martin Fisher. And Bryant forced into an error by Darius Vassell who missed 19 games with a broken ankle. Delaney with the throw. Gets it back from Davis. Davis with the cross, Barry's up there, not dealt with by Boomsong, and Hell helps himself. And Villa go in front inside four minutes. Well, a Newcastle error involved Davis with the cross, and Angel needed no second invitation. And that's Davis looking for Vassell. Davis has gone on ahead of him. Vassell was looking for Angel. It might still run for Gareth Barry. Away from Carl. What's the shot like? Oh, not bad, hit the post. And the bounce favours Newcastle. Aaron Hughes clears. Boyer looking for Shearer. Boyer again, good shot, good save by Sorensen. Second time Sorensen has denied Lee Boyer. He's in top form today, Thomas Sorensen. Shearer did ever so well to release the ball to Boyer. And Sorensen got his arm up and tipped it over. Now foot. He's on the ball. And Vassell has robbed him. Darius Vassell surely to wrap it up for Aston Villa away from Given. Taylor on the line, Vassell to win it. And Taylor handled it. It'll be a penalty and a red card for Stephen Taylor. Gareth Barry with a chance to win this game for Villa, and he does. Gareth Barry scores, and Aston Villa two in front. And on course for only their third away win in the Premiership this season. And here's Vassell striding forward with purpose once more, looking to get it back off Angel. Or was he blocked by Carr? Yes, he was. It's another penalty. Well, Shea Given felt it was shoulder to shoulder. So will he. And held back for Vassell. There's the challenge. It's outside the area, isn't it? It will be Gareth Barry again. He went to Given's left with his earlier spot kick. Which, will, which way will this go? Same way but higher, same result though. It's 3-0 Aston Villa. It's definitely three points now for Aston Villa. And a thoroughly miserable afternoon for Newcastle United is completed. And it's 3-0 with 10 minutes still to go. Oh, there's a fight going on here between two Newcastle players. Kieran Dyer and Lee Bowyer are having a fight. Goodness me, what on earth is going on? I have never seen such a thing. Lee Bowyer and Kieran Dyer suddenly were at each other's throats. It's a red card for Kieran Dyer, and that means it will have to be, surely, a red card for Lee Bowyer. It is. Good grief. Oh, dear. Immediately after the game, there was a rather hastily convened press conference. Kieran and Lee would both like to um, issue, an esta issue a statement. Um, they won't be taking any questions. Obviously, it's a traumatic day uh, for everybody concerned. So, um, if you want to go ahead and see what you want to say. I uh, would just like to apologise to um, the fans, the chairman, um, the managing staff, all the players and um, everybody that's connected to Newcastle, um, family and, and everybody that witnessed what happened today on the football pitch. Um, sincerely, sorry. Yeah, I'd touch on the same as well. Um, I'd like to apologise to my teammates, the manager, chairman and the fans, um, everyone connected with the club as well. Um, we're teammates and we have disagreements. Um, we shouldn't be fighting in front of 50,000 people. Um, and like you said, I'm deeply sorry for it, especially um, it's a crucial stage of the season. Being told and being reassured by Kieran Dyer that he did not throw any punches today, that he was on the receiving end, and um, that's the road we'll be going down. I think Lee Boyer 
is um, indefensible. I think he is guilty as the, as the um, picture show of throwing more than one punch. Um, and he has to re he, has, he has to accept whatever punishment comes his way. I mean, what I, what I will say, and this in no way condones their action, no way. But I think the referee had a very disappointing game today. I saw the pictures of Alan Shearer's header, where I think it's Samuel raises his hand above his head. That was a penalty for us. That makes it 1-1. Very different game. We'll come to those later, but it was more fight club than football club, and um, usual suspects as well. Totally unacceptable. Just when Sunus is getting Newcastle back in track, they've got so much to look forward to. We get this in the pitch. Some people think that everybody in the football club gets on well. That is a, a bit of a misconception because human nature dictate, dictates otherwise. But it's not about liking. It's about respecting and being reliable for one another when you, when you get into trouble. And there's no respect or reliability there in the slightest. And it's question marks about uh, Lee Boyer's tempium, temperament once again. Mm. These I things have it, happened before, but yeah. not very often. Well, no, and the other thing as well is, I mean, you know, there's a problem over Bellamy, and that's temporarily solved by he's, he's gone to unloan to Celtic. And then they've had a fantastic week up until today. They've come back from Dubai, they've been playing extremely well, winning games, two, two uh, big games in terms of cup competitions. The great news for them as far as Shearer's concerned. And then this happens, I think, mm. as Alan says, it, it's the usual suspects, but I have never, ever, ever seen that. Not quite, as not, not quite. I mean, never, I remember never... Graham Lasso and Batty, and there were yeah. one or two other things, uh, Derek Hales, years and years ago, wasn't there? But, but this was just, it, it just came out of nowhere, really, didn't it? Well, it was, it was frustration. Oh, the three and all down at home, they've had this great run, and then all of a sudden, I mean, this is before the actual fight. You watch Boyer there, he wants it. Kieran Dyer's on the wall, give me it, give me it, give me it. He doesn't get it, and then when he turns around there, he's obviously frustrated. He's not getting the pass. This is just another angle of it, and you can see you can see Boyer just getting himself in a position to receive it. It doesn't come, and obviously we, we think it might be start the process in terms of boiling over. That can be the only explanation. So they've gone three 0 down. Kieran Dyer's on the ball here. Boyer wants it again. Give me it. Give me it. Right, he doesn't get it. Comes inside. No, when he's going past Boyer there, obviously something said, and then we run it on. And this is just unbelievable. You know, they square up to each other, but... His head goes in. Oh, he, he butts them first. Yeah. And then it's just a total free-for-all. I think that Kieran Dyer's unlucky to be sent off. Do you? I, I honestly do. I think that he's trying to restrain Boyer. And, you know, I if you're getting smacked three, four times and you can't get away from him, I mean... I think he does go to throw a punch though, well, and I think mm. that's, that's going to be the problem, that, that, that he will get a ban as well, as you see in a minute, and misses, I mean, as it starts, and Dyer's got his back to us, and then just at the end there, I think mm. his, right, his right arm does come Plus over. Plus two, he's facing him to start. Well, that's, the other, th and that's the other thing, I mean, the ball's going over his head, and it's, it's, look, look at that stance alone as well, come on then, what are you going to do about it? Well, th this is what we're going to do about it, I mean... It's absolutely you don't expect you stand there. You don't oh, expect no, you don't. Then, you don't. Like, but then just, hit four just or there. five times. I think just there. I think he's then gone. And this is. The, I mean, what what is he possibly thinking? And then the fan as well. The fan, as you say, quite rightly so as well. And you know, this this fella thinks he's solved all the problems and everything. He's got the thing going. And now they're almost he, back he to square one. He said at the end one. of his press conference, I heard him say that that the players will still have a future at the club. Is that right? Or well, I think in the modern day, the modern age, if you've got valuable footballers, you ain't going to throw them at your football club. I mean, Kieran Dyer in the last four or five weeks has been brilliant. I mean, again, Lee Boyer, question marks about his temperament, but um, how many clubs have sacked hmm. footballers that they still need? Uh, but the other, but then, Nobody. But, it doesn't but, happen, does it? But then it rises the other question, on is how many chances are you going to give them? Hmm. You know, this isn't the first time, as we know. It's been a few occasions, and and, it, and again, somebody at some stage has got to stand up to this sort of sure. behaviour in football because it, it's a consistent well, it's, it's problem. Well, bad, bad, obviously for the supporters that have paid good money to get in, but also kids watching. I mean, yeah. it's yeah. another like stain in the yeah. game of football. It's, it's says bad pictures, bad scenes, bad everything. Mm. But for Newcastle United Football Club, it is absolutely disgraceful. And it's not as though they've been having a bad time, they've been having a great time. All right, they're 3-0 down this particular match, mm. but to, to behave in a way, in a manner that they did, was just totally unacceptable. And, and both players, as we've said and stated, is they, they both started to play well. Mm.